Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2019 action thriller Kill Chain, a film that is written and directed by Ken Sanzel and it stars Nicolas Cage, Annabelle Acosta, Ryan Quanton and Enrico Colantone. Now, this is a film that is actually quite a weird blend of a couple of genres. It, it, at times it feels a little bit like an, antholo an anthology film. Um, and it makes a lot of sense in regards to the title of the film. And I'll try and explain what I mean by that. Initially, at the beginning of the film, um, we are introduced to Nicolas Cage's character, who like, runs this hotel. Um, and then the story kind of it goes back a bit. And it focuses on, initially, there's like a hitman in a hotel room somewhere. Um, and another hitman who's all across the way. And they're trying to take each other out. And then the story carries on from then. The hitman that gets the better of the other um, takes takes his payment, which are like these diamonds and this stuff like that. And then these other two contract killers take him out. And then they go on their own journey. They try and take each other out. Um, and then one of them meets up with um, the woman in red, um, this main character, um, and the story. And the story then continues from there. And the, this woman in red gets to this hotel uh, that Nicholas Cage is running, um, and Nicholas Cage himself has a bit of a shady past. He used to work with a contract killer, and he's very, very adept in, in um, taking out bad guys himself. You could say. Um, and then everybody, it all culminates with like everybody kind of turning up at this hotel at, um, at one point and all the stories kind of intertwine at the, um, at the same place. And it's that, that's why it kind of has similarities to like an anthology film, even though it's definitely not an anthology film, it just kind of um, dabbles a little bit in that area. So what did I think of Kill Chain? Well, for those of you, and sometimes that includes me, it sees Nicholas Ch Nicholas Cage in movies these days. If it's like a direct DVD type film, um, it's one of those you kind of roll your eyes and you think, oh, okay, it's one of them. It's kind of gone a little bit down the route with Bruce Willis. He'll do an occasional theatrical release, Nicholas Cage, but most of his films now are like direct to DVD, and he's some of them are very very disposable, and some of them. Um, are reasonably watchable and this falls into that category it's actually quite a decently well made film this it's it's watchable it's got decent performances by everybody um, Nicolas Cage performance is, is absolutely fine is always good now the, the thing with Nicolas Cage is like there's, you get a different you get a scale of Nicolas Cage like one to ten. Ten is like the batshit crazy Nicolas Cage, the kind that you get in the Ghost Rider films and things like that, where he completely flips. Um, he's he's more middle of the road here. He's more like a five or six in regards to the batshit crazy Nicolas Cage. He's pretty cool, calm, and collected for the most part in this film, um, and he actually plays a level-headed character and quite, I'm like I say, quite cool and laid back at times. Um, but you always know he's got it in his locker to, you know, kick off and kill pretty much many in his presence with this film. Um, it's a fairly simple plot that's kind of um, told quite effectively, I suppose you could say. And, the, and it's one of those films where the title actually does make a lot of sense. The kill chain, you know, as one person kill is killed, the next story continues. So it's only, it's like a chain of... Um, a chain of events that take place that leads them all, you know, into this hotel. Um, some of the characters you could argue are very cliched and very generic, and there's nothing really about this film that particularly stands out, that makes it stand out amongst the crowd. You know, um, I would imagine if Nicolas Cage wasn't in this film, it would get lost in the pack very, very easily and wouldn't garner hardly any attention at all. Um, so it's it's because of Nicolas Cage's presence in the film, it's it's gonna probably get some kind of audience because regardless of what you think of Nicolas Cage these days and his weird hair and all that kind of stuff, um, he's still extremely watchable and to some degree his talents are wasted. May you could argue in some of these films, I think he's off, he's got an awful lot still to offer. I think in regards to movies, but I. 
there's not many movies I've seen where um, you can come away if, if Nicolas Cage is in it you can come away and say well that was a terrible performance by Nicolas Cage um, he still generally speaking will put an awful lot of effort into his performances which is something you can't say for someone like Bruce Willis who you know phones in many of his performances these days especially in the director DVD type stuff that this could be compared to this film Kill Chain so I think you've, you've got a reasonably interesting film here it's well made so the action scenes are, are done adequately um, there's some good dialogue scenes um, uh, especially when they involve Nicolas Cage when he's telling a story about his past and his contract killing days it's a really really good scene there's like these two hitmen that turn up the hotel that got orders to take him out and then he, he basically draws them into his story and um, he draws you in as well as an audience member and that again is a testament to Nicolas Cage's acting ability so if you're a fan of Nicolas Cage and you like these type of action type thrillers I don't think you're going to be overly disappointed here I'm giving it a 6 out of 10 I think it's slightly above average but it's certainly nothing particularly special but um, it's one of those that if you see on like the supermarket shelf or you see it on you know Amazon Prime or wherever you know you could do far worse than give it a watch I've, so, I've personally seen far worse than this over the last 12 months so yeah that's my review for Kill Chain I hope you found it useful thank you very much for watching everybody and of course I'll see you next time on Screen Stars